I'm Stuart Fridman, the Managing Director of Rhino Energy Solutions, a focused solar energy company which is based here in the Eastern Cape. This project is at the BKB headquarters in Port Elizabeth. It is a project that has three or four fundamental components. The first component are the solar collectors, which in this specific installation are First Solar 4100 series uh, thin film CDTE, which stands for cadmium telluride technology. It's a thin film technology. It is currently the biggest system in South Africa and it's certainly the biggest system and should remain as the biggest rooftop system in the Eastern Cape for the foreseeable future. The solar system is then connected via a mounting system on the roof, onto the roof and into the roof from a structural point of view. The challenges on this site was the legacy of a very old roof based on asbestos which has issues in terms of strength, issues in terms of health and safety and issues in terms of working with it or working on the roof in the context of uh, placing equipment and other items on the roof. Notwithstanding that, the engineering team behind Rhino Energy produced a very elegant solution where there was no disruption to the asbestos. Essentially it was a one-for-one -one substitution for the existing retaining in interface which was then substituted by the solar array mounting interface which acts in two contexts. One, it mounts the array and it also acts as a roof retaining interface. Very challenging roof to work on, as mentioned, because of its asbestos. It's uh, not great in terms of uh, age. It's a very slippery surface. It's a very unaccommodating surface to, to work on. But as mentioned, the engineering team and the execution team produced an excellent result. And in, in the life cycle of a project like this, the installation on the roof and the actual work on the roof is probably one to, to four weeks. And the life cycle of the project is 25 years. So in the context of a project life cycle, it's a very short interface. The solar panels are then assembled into blocks of 80 panels, which then corresponds to a certain kilowatt peak size without going into some of the technical issues, the panels collect or harness the sun's energy, which is photons, converts the photons into electrons. Those electrons are fed through the equivalent of DC cables into what we call collector boxes, collector stations. The collector stations in turn jackpot this accumulated energy into a DC to AC inverter. The AC inverters are then ultimately connected through a safety interface directly into the incoming energy supply, the electrical energy supply, uh, into this building. So from a technical point of view, the number of panels totals 4,680, which equates to 468 kilowatt peak, which is the engineering jargon used in the solar industry, but it equates to the potential energy equivalent of powering between 450 and 500 homes with an average energy distribution. The system harnesses the energy, the solar energy, the solar radiation, which is of an exceptional value here in the Port Elizabeth uh, region. And it converts the solar energy into electrical energy. And in engineering terms, and the metric that we use is the number of kilowatt hours that the system generates. This system will generate using a simulation model, which will be referenced again to the actual performance over the next year and year after that is in the region of 750 megawatt hours, which is 750,000 kilowatt hours. And again, to contextualize that, that's the same as 750,000 kettles running for one hour to give an equal energy uh, generation versus accommodation by the building. In the context of the building on a daily basis and over a week, the energy generated by the solar system should displace between 25 and 30 percent of its current energy consumption. However, BKB is in the process of a significant greening of the building with other demand side initiatives and the base load, as we call it, should be reduced going into the future, which will make the percentage generated versus purchased from the local municipality rise from 25 into the 30s or even the 40s. The project execution started with the containers housing the panels 
and other equipment, structures, etc. on the 27th of February. They were decanted directly into the warehouse using the resources from BKB. And then from that, the execution starts to move from the logistics interface into the actual execution, whereby the material is moved onto the roof and the assembly and the structures are assembled. The panels are then installed in their 80 unit blocks. From that, the cables are then connected, the system integrity is tested, and the system goes from what we call a cold system to a hot system when it is energized and the energy from the sun via the solar panels is converted from photon energy into electron energy directly into the grid. As a focused solar energy company here in the Eastern Cape, it is exceptionally important for us to be partnering with BKB on this very important and very large project. Uh, it's a distinction for us to be in the town, offer the services, the engineering services, the execution services and the maintenance services from a company like Rhino Energy to a stalwart in the Eastern Cape such as BKB.